What is that? What is this? Yeah. You want me to tell you? You want to find out? Well, open it. Alright, first I need my opening tool. <laughs> Tis my new intake. Is that like a three inch inlet? Uh, I believe so. Mounting bracket. You buddy. Silicone adapter things that hold the tube together. Yep. Empty box. And I'm gonna bet that that thing is a filter. Yeah. Cool. Cause the other one's all rusted and busted. Yeah, and it's red, which doesn't match anything. Yeah. Sweet. Where are we putting this on? Right now. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so the first step, where we, we're coming from, the throttle body, and I imagine that's what this one is. I believe they're all three the same. They are all the same. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, that makes it super simple. Yeah. These are all the clamps and everything. Yep. And they look to be all the same too. All right. <laughs> I feel like we could have designed this ourselves. <laughs> Yeah, you can actually go to like Pet Boys or AutoZone and buy just these and just these and build your own intake. Yeah. And this too. Cool. Word. Alright, so you get a clamp, put it so, around there. Yep. Small end of these is what attaches to that. Yep. No, I'm gonna tighten it yeah, first. Tighten it a little bit. Yeah. Either way, it don't matter. I think that was probably the best for you guys. I'm going to make sure that those adjustments on the clamps are accessible. No. We should clip that excess, that looks nice. So what are we looking at? We're looking for an elbow, right? Yep. And I'm going to turn this around because this wire's here. So yeah. Just gonna you don't want to snag or cut anything. Rotate that. I can still get it to it. Okay. All right. Yep. Cool. Yep. All don't right. tighten anything down until you get it all on. Yeah. Another one of these. Ow. Cool. Nice. Right. Tighten it a little bit more. Now I actually need to take the old one apart and get my mass airflow sensor off. Oh yeah. That makes sense now. I was wondering why it was funneling down. You know what I mean? Because it's got the three inch. This is three inches, and then it's going to like a two and a half. Yeah. So I was wondering why it was doing that, but it's because it has to go with a stock mass airflow sensor. So yep. that makes sense. That that would be the two and a half. Yep. Dude, you wear this shirt like every time. It's my favorite shirt. <laughs> yeah. What's on there? Mass airflow plug side this way. Need to 
last one of these. Very tight squeeze. Trump. Can we get a wider mass air flow? That would be so nice. Um, I don't think so. No, I think it's just... That's the stock one, that's it. Cone first. Yeah. So just to make it easier to put it on there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this cone, that tube, because that way we can put it on there easier. Otherwise, we're fighting with this type of space and it's way restricted. This will be way more efficient. Yeah, make your life easier. Yeah. Cool. All right. Came with this, but I don't know where I'm going to put this one. Hmm. So I'm going to use the old one that I had made before. Hmm. That one goes right here and right there. This is the old one I made. bolt in the side of the mass airflow where I believe it used to attach to the old air box. Okay. Maybe something used to mount to it. But that's what we're attaching to the bracket. Yeah. Put my bracket right there. And don't tighten this one too much because it will break. It's just plastic. Anything is plastic pieces. Yeah. Yes. She's on there. And this plug actually won't work. This, this little plug here is in there. <laughs> what are you using to get this thing out? A little plastic pick tool. I'm using to try to wedge this thing out. But it's, it's like literally. It was a good squeeze. Yeah, I think in there. Talking about tight squeezes. Alright, we got it out. Cool. <laughs> You're all bleeding what? and shit. <laughs> we broke the rubber. That's the old part, we don't need that. Screw the rubber anyway. So yeah. we got this. We gotta take the rest of it down. There you go. Yeah. And that's why it wasn't coming out because it was a freaking Christmas tree. Let's see what that looks yeah. like. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's put that sucker in there. Plug comes over this way, so we're gonna put it in. Oh, Oh, it goes in so much easier when it comes out. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, it is a Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah. That's why. This tube here goes from this plug to move it around so it works best. So just, uh, what? Tighten up the clamps? And, uh, uh, tighten up the clamps and plug in the mass airflow in this guy. Yeah, make sure nothing's touching and rubbing. Thanks for tuning in this week's episode of Mills Garage. Leave your like and comments below and make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next week.